RVSV ZBOF vaccine, developed by Merck, was tried in Guinea, which was still seeing new Ebola cases when the trial started in 2015. No Ebola cases were recorded 10 days or more after vaccination was introduced among the nearly 6,000 people who received the vaccine. What we have shown is that in the vaccinated people we have had zero case of Ebola, while at the same time we have had 23 cases in the people who were not vaccinated with Ebola. So you compare zero to 23 and you can calculate that you have a, a vaccine which is shown, has shown 100% efficacy. Of course, you know, in a larger group it could be that, an, uh, that it's not 100, it could be 80, 90, but this still shows that uh, the vaccine is highly efficacious. The trial used a ring vaccination approach. Under it, researchers traced all people who might have been in recent contact when a new Ebola case was diagnosed. They then locked them as clusters and administered the vaccine immediately. I really believe that now we have a tool which would allow to control uh, a new outbreak of Ebola, of the Zaire strain, because there are two strains circulating. One is Zaire and the other one is called Sudan. So for the Sudan, Sudan uh, Ebola, there is a need to develop the same vaccine, but we are now in a position to intervene and stop transmission of any outbreak of the Ebola type, of the Zaire type. The RVSV ZBOV still needs full regulatory approval, and this is expected to be in place by 2018. Leslie Morongu, CCTV.